The chorus is dealing with integers, and let's say two different integers, both with the same signs or different signs, but also that we do operations on. We do four different operations. We do addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division on, say, two different integers, and where they end up on the number line, or where the simplified expression would end up on the number line, given those two integers. So here's the first part of the chorus. O, what's the operation? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Signs, signs, tell your destination, O, on the number line. So the beginning part, O, what's the operation? So again, we have the four operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And then whatever signs, maybe the two integers have the same signs, maybe one of them has a negative, one of them has a positive, uh, and, and uh, that will all determine, it will all depend on what the signs are and what operations we're doing to depend upon what the simplified expression or where the simplified expression of those two integers will land on the number line. So let's figure out how we're going to demonstrate this. So O, and we're going to do O like this because it's like the zero of our number line. So O, what's the operation? And then addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And then signs, so you can only have positive integers and negative integers. So signs, signs tell your destination, O, on the number line. Great. Now, this, the next part, yeah, same signs combine. Yeah, they add together. Different signs are absolute when we know which is bigger. Now, we already knew from the first, the first verse that, that same signs combine. So two negatives combine, and it'll be more negative or further down the negative part of the, uh, the number line. Two positives, same kind of thing. So two positive integers, they'll be further down the positive end of the, uh, end, end of the number line. So we know that same signs combine, and they add together. Now, different signs are absolute when we know which is bigger. Let's say we have two integers. We have seven and negative two. So we can, to figure out where this is going to end up on the number line, whether positive or negative, or negative or positive, we can take the absolute value of each of those integers. So you have seven and negative two. The absolute value of seven is seven. The absolute value of negative two is two. So because the absolute value of seven is bigger, the simplified expression will be a number in the positive side of the number line. It's a good way of checking your work too. So, um, so for this example, we have seven and negative two. Once we've done the, done the, the uh, absolute value determination, then we just take the difference between those two numbers. So the difference between seven and two is five, and we already know it's gonna be in the positive, so the simplified expression is, is five, or the, the, the answer is five. So here's how we're going to demonstrate that. So yeah, the same signs combine. We're just going to do the negatives combining again. Yeah, they add together. And then different signs are absolute when we know which is bigger. So this is going to be the 7 and negative 2 example. So 7 is absolutely bigger than negative 2, but the negative 2 is going to pull it to the negative a little bit leaving us with an with the product or an answer rather of, of negative five that's a simplified expression which would be or I'm sorry positive positive five in the positive so it's going to be the the express simplified expression will be positive five but that's how we're going to demonstrate that so it goes further into the positive then it goes into the negative and that's that's what we're getting at and then the last part of the chorus says one different sign can make it negative during division and when we multiply on the number line and we're just going to put one negative. So if you have two integers, one of them is negative and one of them is positive, and you're multiplying or dividing, the, the, the product uh, answer will always be in the negative. So the simplified expression of any integer, any two integers where one of them is negative, one of them is positive, they'll be down the negative in the, on the number line. So one different sign can make it negative during division, and when we multiply, on the number line. That's uh, a lot. Let's do, let's do all of it together slowly. All right, here we go. O, what's the operation? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And then signs tell your destination, O, on the number line. The same signs combine, yeah, they add together. 
different signs are absolute when we know which is bigger. One different sign can make it negative during division or when we multiply or when we multiply on the number line. I said multiply. I don't, I don't know what that means. All right, let's, let's go ahead and try with the music. Combine to negative eight when simplified. Oh, oh, what's the operation? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Sign, signs, and tell your destination. Oh, 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 on the number line. The same signs combine, yeah, they are together. Different signs are absolute, we know which is bigger. One different sign can make it negative during division. And when we multiply on the number line. Great, let's try it again. These two integers combine to negative eight when simplified. Oh, oh, what's the operation? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Sign, signs, and tell your destination. Oh, 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 on the number line. The same signs combine, yeah, they add together. Different signs are absolute, we know which is bigger. One different sign can make it bigger than during division. When we multiply on the number line. So that is the chorus.